Hello, my fellow readers. This is I, Dark Sif, me, 777, with a new video. As always, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click on that bell for notifications, and leave a comment in the comment section below on your thoughts of the video. So, you're wondering, why am I playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, because I actually want to tell a very interesting story about my life, and I figured watching... <laughs> Shoot me, please. It's funny. Um... Tell a story about my life that actually ties into Yu-Gi-Oh! And that is how I got into Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, the reason I want to tell the story is this story is actually very interesting. Because it's actually kind of awkward. Because it, it it's, an inter it's an interesting story. So, this story starts back way in the, in the pantheon days of 2002. So... When I was a kid, um, I went to two different schools. One was one school, and then I miss. I had like mental problems and disobedience at the time. And at the time, uh, so sorry, I got distracted. I don't. I don't want anyone listening. I don't want my family distracted me on this. So I had two. I went to two different schools. Uh, what was a regular public school? However, I misbehaved a lot because I had mental, I had, I still have mental, actual mental problems. And so I went to a, a private school when I was growing up. And between those two schools, uh, my mom, I, whenever school ended, I would always get picked up by my mom and brought back home. However, there are some, there were some days where that wasn't possible so what would happen is my mom would actually take me to her job for a, for about an hour or two and I would just sit there in like the, the the customer service area just just waiting I would either take a nap I would or I would play on my Game Boy Color play like Link's Awakening or Game Boy Advance or I would or I would go wander the store like wondering where everything is my mom worked at a K, my mom worked at a Kmart for those who don't know it's just like a supermarket, a competitor to uh, to Walmart. I don't think they exist in Florida that much anymore. I, ba I barely see t I barely see Kmart anymore. And this is where it kind of gets like the, the controversial. So there's one. Um, so this was fine because even like all the other workers, they kind of saw me as like a furniture in a room because. Because my mom was a manager, and therefore I there was stuff that you know stuff she did do. So she, uh, so I was just there a lot of the time. I talked to them. I sometimes would talk to the cashier, just say hi, how they're doing. I would wander around. So a lot of so a lot of the workers just saw me as furniture. And so what would happen sometimes is if the store was like super busy, my mom would take me aside and basically uh, take me to like this little bank area behind the customer service area and gave me a bag of like bills and coins and take this to register such and such. Now, for those of you who don't know, yes, I was nine when this happened. I'm nearly 30 now. Uh, this is, it is illegal. Like it is actually illegal. But... <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, this was illegal because it does it does stuff like violate labor laws and all that. And it allows you to have a little fun, like a li like a lot, a lot of fun. And I thought it was interesting. And I don't know why I said fun because I, I, I yawned in my brain for, for a second. Um, so anyway, oh yeah, what I what 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 was happening was is technically illegal. That's actually going to tie into how I uh, got into the game. So when I was given the coins, and given brought up to you know brought it to the cashiers, it was only like for a couple seconds, and it rarely rarely happened. And none of the workers actually had a problem with this. My mom didn't have a problem with this. Her boss didn't have a problem with this. 
none of the customer service, none of the cashiers, even a lot of the customers didn't really have a big problem with this. So they just they just see a little boy just going around carrying a bag and just giving it to the cashier and then just going and sit down. And they didn't, no one really saw a problem with this. Like literally no one. Until one day in like Fall of 2002. I can't remember the exact date. But it's so long. Um, we had one, uh, one girl, well, one random lady, and she witnessed me bringing the another bag of, of coins and bills to a cashier. You know, the same old, same old. Uh, and so what happened was this random lady. She went to the customer service line and she started complaining. Like, she actually started complaining about this and said that it was violating labor laws. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, for all intents and purposes, it does violate labor laws because, because of course, it's going to, because, you know, having a little boy do a company job with no with no training, no pay, like doing it just off the cuff, you know, that's that's fine. That's like yeah, that's that's actually illegal. It is illegal. And so what would happen is she went to the she went to the customer service line and she started complaining. And and she was mentioning how she was going to get the uh, the Better Business Bureau, the labor people to to, to, buy, to basically slap the tar- the Kmart with a bunch of bunch of labor laws, and basically led to like, oh here you go, <sighs> me. Uh, a bunch of uh, labor laws. And no one wanted that because she talked to my mom first, and she says, and my mom inadvertently let it slip that that the kid's hers. So it's like now I want to comp- I want to complain. I want to complain about this. Like, okay, uh, let me just uh, yes, actually, so. Uh, my mom said, okay, you're going to talk to the manager. Like, okay. I don't have a problem with that. And so what my mom did was... Uh, don't want to accept it. Uh, yeah. Uh... My mom got the her boss, and they did this whole song and dance. Yeah, they did this whole song and dance, and and it it, it went on for like a couple minutes. I didn't I didn't really hear most of what happened. And so that led, uh, let me just get, uh, and so that led to, and so that led to, uh, her, my mom and my boss to leading a, sort of uncomfortable alliance. Yeah, a very uncomfortable moment where she was not going to leave the store until some kind of compromise was made on this whole thing. And what happened was like, okay, you're you're not going to like um, you're not gonna do this uh, 
you're, yeah, you're not going to do this. You're not going to. Oh, that's rude. Okay. My battle fader. No, oh, at least I painted it. Okay. Okay, so what? Okay. So, back to this. They talked for about, I believe it was 20. Tw about 20 minutes. I hear water. Yes, I hear water too. About 20 minutes. I hear fucking water, man. And. Not enough, though. It's coming. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank the Lord. I see the toilet's going. In about 20 minutes. And then it eventually... They eventually reached a compromise. Because the lady it was literally at the call. And my mom's boss said, told her, said, okay, we'll, we'll give you... We'll give you a chance to to basically have ha, ha, have your opportunity to give. No, I'm trying to because I'm also focusing on this duel because I have to interact with the game. Um, so basically, they're opening up the valve. That's why I don't want to press it. Ah, okay, so. You have to find a oh no, sorry. So what? Okay. So what happened is they 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 agreed because the big thing was I was not getting compensation for bringing the coins and the bills to the cashier. So the boss told. So the boss told uh, the uh, the guy the. Um, no, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna stop that. Um, basically, told him that okay, you're going to you're going to um, we're gonna get no. <laughs> I keep getting I keep getting confused because I now I, I don't have to act, interact anymore. So the boss, her boss, came up with an agreement to saying okay. We'll, we'll let him get something. We'll let him get something from the front, from the store, and and if he buys, if his mom buys it, will you leave us alone? And she was okay with this. He's like, okay, you don't have to. We don't have to deal with any of this stuff anymore because, like, okay, uh, no more. It's just the deal was. I would have to buy something specifically from the front of the store. From the front of the store. And if I didn't, then she would call the labor law. So it's like, it just can't, it has to be something. It can be anything. It can be food, it can be water, it can be just anything. And they have to, and so they told me about this. They told me all these details. You gotta run, you gotta, you gotta buy something. My mom has to pay for it. And when my mom went to complain about this, because, you know, they're right next to each other, she said, what happens if I don't buy anything? And it's like, then you're fired. You take your pick. You either... You either... Uh, either... You basically either buy something for him, you're given no choice, or you... You basically, basically scrum over. Okay, so I so that was given those dudes. I didn't want I didn't want my mom to get fired at the time. So I'm literally running up and down all the aisles, trying to figure out what to do. And so that led to uh, to me going to where the back. Of the, of the stuff is because I was trying to find something. I didn't want. I wasn't hungry. I wasn't thirsty. So, 
so I didn't I didn't really see any problem with it. And so I I went I wandered my way to the to the back of the, of the cashiers, and I saw all of these all this Yu Gi Oh stuff, like all these all this Yu Gi Oh related stuff. And and I was like, "Ooh, I like this anime. I really, really like this anime." So, so I decided, well, I'm gonna use. I'm going to have a little fun. Use and and buy the structure. It didn't have the booster pack, so like legacy. So like Legend of Blue as White Dragon didn't was was not on the shelves. It was just the 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 two beginning packs. It was um. Uh, big, uh, starter deck Yugi, starter deck Kaiba. I grabbed a Yugi starter deck. And so I went, so I went, I went up to them. I handed, I saw I want this. The starter decks were like $10. At the, even today, they're still like around $10. My mom started to throw a fit. And then my boss, her boss, just pointed at the and said, "You're gonna buy. It. You're going to buy this." And my mom, grumbling and kind of huffing and puffing, goes to the cashier. It reluctantly gives the struck the starter deck to the cashier. She pays for it. The lady is happy, and she leaves. And so after that, because of, because of that whole deal. If my mom ever had me go to help out, because there are times afterwards where I would have to carry the coins. Now it's like every time where she had me do that, I, she would have to buy something. But to make it fair, I said I only really bought I really only bought like Yu Gi Oh packs for, because of this. So it's like I didn't want to buy anything too expensive. I was still playing Yu Gi Oh. I was I was enjoying all the Yu Gi Oh stuff. So I was, I was, I was just buying the booster packs, the Legacy, and the Metal Raiders, and I was just having fun with that. So, you know, I didn't I didn't particularly have a big problem uh, using using that. So that's honestly my story. I, I said it was going to be, like I said, the story is kind of weird because, you know, you're having fun. It's just like, hey, I get to have fun. And I, you know, I found my love of this game and that I'm still playing to this day. I'm playing, uh, I'm playing uh, Vernalizer for Vernus Left. And, and I'm just having, I'm just honestly I just wanted to tell the story. It's a, it's a really interesting story because, come on, where are you going to find a story where someone, you know, found the love of playing the, a trading card game from technically doing something illegal? Come on. Come on. Come on. You, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't find this stuff. Not so, for the rest of this video, I'm basically just going to show you uh, this deck and show you how I play this deck, and then, and you know, have a little fun, and just, and honestly, just finish this duel. So the deck I am playing is access does target access does target. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, Hold on, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't. I forgot, I forgot that access doesn't. Okay. So, deck I'm playing. Here. Here. Yu Gi Oh! Play. Since when do we read? <laughs> okay, so I'm playing a deck called Vernalize. They're basically a bunch of earth fairies that specialize in getting earth monsters on the field. Um. And we just and they their whole this is their boss monster. She just she just basically yoinks yoinks your opponent's monsters to, to her to the other side of the field. Um, let's see. The problem is, the problem is I don't know what. Okay, uh, my partner's playing the uh the, the Valance. I don't know what this deck does. It just does this. It just moves stuff. 
it moves stuff. And here's a. I can do as much as I want. It's the fuel scrap. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, that one. It went too. I wanted to get there on the field because I know I want to and my field spell are my own my only turrets. Um Yeah, so vernalizers they basically you basically discard them, discard another card, or either a monster or another Vernalizer card, because they do have spells and traps. Uh, then you do something, and then you also special summon uh, an Earth monster from your graveyard. So they, 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 they're they they're really good. They're not going to be top tier unless you mix them with, like, oh, they surrendered. Unless you, like, uh, let's see if I can center. Uh, let me do one more duel. No problem. <laughs> no problem. The guy playing Numeron. Um, and they basically they're really neat in the fact that they're actually pretty balanced. It's kind of it's kind of a weird thing with Yu-Gi-Oh! Like they make balanced stuff like Vernalizers because their whole thing is they lock they're like somewhat xenophobic. They like lock you into earth monsters. Uh, then you have stuff like Tier Elements, who are, they're like, hey, you want to see broken stuff? We'll, we'll show you broken stuff because war. So that is my story since since the last duel ended. I hope you uh, hope you like the the story. This has been Dark Symphony seven seven seven, and cut.